Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with John Krawczyk, hey, President and CEO of Hyundai Motor America. Good to see you. Great to be here. Thanks, John. You know, you're kind of in a unique position. You have 21 day supply. You've got Azera has 12 days. Veloster has 12 days. Genesis Coupe has 14 days. What car has over 20 days that's making this average 22? Yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> it's tough. Um, we like to also talk about it this way. We've got about a 5.5% retail share. If you look at our share of all the dealer inventory in the whole country, it's just over 2%. The Sonata built in the U.S. has about 25 days, so that's, that's pretty much close to the average. Santa Fe is in sell down mode. Actually, the car that we have the most supply of around 40 days is Tucson. Your cars are made with Hyundai Steel. Hyundai owns a steel company. Yes. They import the raw steel over yes. and do all the stamping and stuff in the United States. Mm -hmm. What part are they missing that they can't make these cars faster? Ah, well, you know, the, the steel is an important part of our, of our production system. It's one of the key reasons, by the way, that this guy right here, the five-passenger Santa Fe, is 266 pounds lighter than the outgoing model. And we've got the seven-passenger. No, well, <laughs> actually, that's not a bad idea. No, the steel is engineered to a very high specification on this high, high tensile steel. Our constraint, really our production constraint, is at the final point of assembly. Um, our assembly plants, we're, we're simply a little bit short of capacity there to deliver the, um, the capacity that we'd like to. To get that next big increment of capacity, there are only a couple of things we can do, and one of them we are doing beginning in September. The third shift at our Alabama plant goes on board, and that should give us an extra more or less 60,000 units of production. So you're hiring in Alabama? We are hiring about 900 jobs um, wow. in Alabama to help us build more Sonatas and Elantras. The labor union strike in Korea, is that having any effect on your supply? So far, the company's been really good about keeping us as, as supplied as possible. Some of the other global markets and the Korean domestic market have taken a hit in terms of production quantity. So it hasn't really impacted us yet. Of course, our ace up our sleeve is the fact that about 60% of what we sell is built right here in the U.S. We talked in May. Yeah. And your incentives at that point were $914 yeah. on average per car. Yeah. Now they're down to $868 yeah. per car. Right. You bested Ford in Nissan. On the retail sales on the car side, yeah. Right. Yeah. How are you going to fit all this in with all the capacity constraints you have? Well, you know, it's it's definitely our biggest challenge. And of course, what you see us doing on incentive spending is, is a logical response to the tight capacity. Um, there's excess demand for our cars, so um, we have to spend less to move the metal. And we're, we've always um, focused, Luann, on ensuring the price of the car is fair, even without the incentives. John Krawczyk, thank you very much. Thanks, Luann.